day two zero zero two hundred yes. two hundred for the vlog kind of silly well it's not silly but weird saying two hundred days two hundred in a row and just start it I think it's weird to just start to think you're gonna see a hundred two hundred or is I was probably doing day one. There's probably two other days where I, I can honestly say I did not want to do it. I was like, just go to bed. I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk. I don't want to look at my phone anymore. I don't want to see the video up. I don't want to try to load it. I don't want to try to make up a title. Just want to go to bed. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. I know why I'm doing it in the long run. And like this it's great to say 200 days in a row so that's good and to, still on the push-ups push-ups are done I did 115 120 today oh let me, let me back up day rating was an 8 maybe even a 9 today yeah crazy right <laughs> and so I started the day with the walk with a pup and then Went to the gym, got to the gym right before 6.30. Oh, 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 excuse me, I'm tired. It's 11.48, I'm trying to hang on, I just finished reading. I'm trying to put all the thoughts in my head and get this done. But back to the training, Did, went to the gym, got there, did a little warm up with the kettlebell swings and planks and then side planks and then I alternated with that and then I went to the dumbbell chest press <clears throat> I believe I started at 35 I did one set of 35 and I said I can do I can do this I can do a little more and so I went to 40s I still felt like 40 was not easy, but very doable. I was like, I shouldn't feel this comfortable doing this. I feel like I should do more. And I, I learned this little trick from the Athlean X video. And, oh, he just made it a, it's example he said, when you're doing it, don't hold it like this, but tilt it a little bit and you're gonna get more support from your arm instead of like this you're kind of cranking it to one side so hold it the way they had it I don't have a cup here but they said have a cup and act as if you were to have water in it and if you tilt it over you're going to drain it but if you can keep it up at about a glass half full then you can do the movement then you're doing it right. And so I put that in my head. And then I remember last week I went to 35s and I thought that was good. And then today I started 35s and I was like, that just feels way easier. So I bumped it up for the next two sets with 40s. And I feel like I can do at least 45, maybe even 50. So something to try next week. We'll see what happens. And then I just, let's see what we do after that. And then, then went to the kettlebell walk, so try to get that core tight again. Just having to hold the kettlebell with one side, and the other side has to kind of compensate and tighten up so you don't tip over. Then, went and did pull ups. Made sure I did pull ups, not chin ups. So pull ups with the arm. Wrist tucked in this way, not the other way. This would be a chin up. This would be the pull up. And did three sets of ten with a pull up, and did three sets of ten for the face crushers. <clears throat> and then I went and did abs. Did two sets of abs with Russian twist, twenty five in each side with a ten pound plate. And I did ten. Straight back, touch 
the floor and came up. Even doing that, I could feel my abs. That was it was a good, good set. I did two sets of those. Then I did two sets of bicep curls. No, three, three, three sets of curls. As I increased the weight, I did twenty five, thirty, thirty fives. And then after that, I did back squats. So at the barbell behind my neck, so behind, back, back squat. I put on so 15 kilograms on each side. I want to say it was 30, but I, maybe not. It wasn't 30 pounds, it was the kilograms. I need to double check. It was it, not my max, but it's a good comfortable weight where I, I know I'm getting work in. But if I screw up, I know I can kind of still shake it off, I don't have, and I don't have to have someone spotting me. So that's where I'm at right now with those. And then did I do any other curls? I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. I came back, played with the pup for about five ten minutes. I was gonna make a smoothie. I was like, I don't have time for that. So I just had. The protein bar with some water. Got to work, or work was fine. Funny little story with work is the president of the company was out saying hi to everyone, and the one of the supervisors, managers sits a little bit beside me, but a little bit back, I guess. And the president of the company was on this far side. And they were pointing my direction and towards the supervisor's direction and said. Oh, you're not coming in tomorrow, right? You have the vacation. And I was like, Oh yeah, I, I won't come in tomorrow. I'll take a three day weekend. And they were like, No, no, not you. And I said, I are you sure? I I don't mind not coming in. I can stay home. <laughs> and I kept playing it off and my supervisor was sitting over there and my other supervisor sits on the other side of the cubicle in front of me, so we kind of if we take the wall down we'd be facing each other. And both of them just started laughing, and I, then I said, you know, I have a little bit of amnesia, so if I wake up tomorrow morning, and I just remember you saying that you have a day, I have a day off, or that you're giving me the day off, I can't help it, and I'm sorry, but I'll just, pro I might remember that, so, but I'll try really, really hard to remember the, the full conversation, and then they said, you know what, if you, I need you to end tomorrow because it's only going to be you and your buddy Nick at the help desk. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's not what I want to hear. But it is what it is. And then they tried to entice me and they said, you know, if you come in tomorrow, there's a good chance we'll get donuts. And I was like, uh, trying to be happy and smile. But again, I have like my face mask so my eyes are just kind of like talking, I, I guess. And I just said, I don't know if my trainer's going to approve of me eating a, a donut in the morning. <laughs> they said they wanted me to eat calories, but they probably want me to cut out a lot of the sugar right now. And I said, oh, what are you, what are you doing? You're doing some kind of training? You're, you know, you're too skinny for that. And da -da -da -da, and you're running so much. And first of all, I hate, I hate when people say it's skinny. I think that's a derogatory term, but maybe I'll discuss that another day. I said, you know, I'm running five, six days a week, and I'm going to get in the gym two or three days a week right now. But I'm trying to put on more muscle weight. And so, it was a small discussion about it, and yada yada, but the joke was that I'm not coming in tomorrow, or I, I'm not, I'm going to forget that I should come in tomorrow. So that was kind of funny. We all had a little laugh and chuckle. And they came back, walked the pup, did a couple dishes, and my stomach, oh my gosh, just a long story, but two nights ago I had this fit that fish that I should, probably shouldn't have had, and I still feel that whenever I eat, my stomach just starts feeling unsettled, 
And so I was worried I wasn't going to make the run today. But I said, you know, you can go just go three or four miles and just test it out. So I went about an hour before the run. Then I went about 15 minutes before the run. I just tried to get everything out. So, because I know the heat plays a little bit of a role, and when I run, if, I, if I'm feeling a little bit off, my stomach is going to be the first thing to, to go. And so, I went out there, I caught him just in time. Just as they were leaving, he got the stoplight, and then I was talking to Pawan and Gary, and me and Pawan kind of trekked off, and there was three of the new guys there. And we were trying to catch up to them so that they didn't miss the turn. And we were going a good bit, little pace. It was the first mile was 751, so we were trying to pick it up. And he's like, "Go ahead, man. You gotta gain them. Show them which way." And I'm like, I, "You know, I'm, I'm, I need to warm up my body today. It's just not. It's not feeling 100 percent." And we got about half mile in, and we were just talking. And I was looking over to my right, slightly, and we were in mid conversation about weekend plans and he was saying he just had his anniversary I was like oh you know congratulations so congratulations on your nine years Pawan well done I hope you and your family are doing well and get to celebrate a little bit more this weekend and then right in the mid conversation we heard this ha 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 and it was a it was a car a mid-sized silver SUV and I immediately turned around I was like I think I know what this is and so I was just kind of like a little smile and waved at him and my buddy Paul's like I don't know who they were honking at but I don't know who it, you know <laughs> he was a little taken back by it and I was like oh I know I know who it is it was it was someone I know some some good neighbors that I used to talk to all the time so yeah they were just saying hi they're probably on the way back from their their practice their little cheer practice so it was just nice to say hi and a very pleasant surprise and it made my day I think I've been smiling ever since it just picked me up picked my spirits up and yeah we finished the run we did seven miles the first mile I said already was 751 then we dropped it a little bit 725 by about that time we were kind of in front and the guys were behind us and just following and then we did 713 which I was trying to hold pace and put on I guess was trying to push so I came in you're doing well but like, go ahead if you need to go I'm like no no, no I, I'm i gonna stay here and I try to tell him about my whole food issue and my stomach's a little unsettled and I don't want to push it I just want to get my gear and hold and I don't want my, my body to kind of spike and really upset my stomach so from there, it was 7.25 was the second mile. So the third mile was 7.13. Fourth was 7.26. <clears throat> Fifth was 7.37. And right around that time, we were crossing a bridge, and I almost turned around early. I made it about a four and a half mile run. So my stomach was just really starting to be like questionable. And I slowed down a bit, and I wanted to turn to look at me, and I was like, I could tell he was going to ask, like, are you okay? And I was just like, I just need a minute. I just need trying to calm my stomach down. I was like, just relax. You're fine. Breathe. Relax, relax, relax. And for the next four to five minutes, that's all I told myself. Was, You're okay. Relax. Calm down. Calm your nerves. You're just going to stress your stomach out more if you keep getting stressed out about it. <laughs> and so we went on. Mile six was 7.36. And about, by then... Pawan had dropped off, so it was just me, and I was just like, just thinking, get back to your car, get back to your car, you can make it. There's no restrooms in the park right now, and there's no little porter potties, so you gotta get back to your car, and if you take off, you can explain to them later, but just get back. No accidents. <laughs> Don't have any accidents. <clears throat> it's in the miles. Six was 735. And then that last half mile it got me and my stomach was really just like don't push it and so I was slowing down a little bit just to keep my stomach from being upset so the finish was a 759 mile the last the seventh mile 
And then we sat and talked for a bit, and it was nice to talk to everyone. Came back, played with the pup, walked the pup, made a nice little spinach salad with chicken, a few carrots in there, and I cooked some onions and peppers. And oh my gosh, it was a two whole chicken breasts, a full bowl of spinach, carrots, and that. It was at the point where I was tired. Like, I was hungry, but I was tired of chewing. I was just like, I think I'm done. I was like, no, you got to finish this. You had a long day. Burned a lot of calories. You need to put the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients back in your system. Finish the salad. So I did that. Finished the salad. Took a shower. Finished the push-ups. Here I am trying to finish the vlog for the day and go to sleep. It's my longest vlog to date. It's just getting ready to hit 16 minutes right now. Well, there you go. Day 200, 16 minutes. And we'll end it on that note. So run your life with health and happiness. And have a good night.